Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited for today's video. It is going to be my April update for my deck of panning project pan. This project was created by Emily from Emily and Max. She is one of my favorites. I talk about her all of the time. You absolutely have to go check her out. She will be listed in the description box down below as well as the playlist for this project. All of the other information for this project <clears throat> If this is your first time catching a deck of painting project pan, I recommend checking out Emily's introduction where she goes into great detail about everything that this project is, how she came up with the idea, etc. So again, if this is your first time catching a deck of painting project pan video, go check out Emily's introduction and then come back to this one. But all of the information that you will need is in the description box down below in case I'm forgetting something as I feel like I always forget something. I am currently in a rush to get to work, but I, should, I guess I should probably be leaving right now but we all know I'm always late to everything. Um, and it's a little bit gloomy outside, so I'm hoping my lighting is okay, but I need to get this video filmed, and I'm so excited because I have four products to be rolling in. One thing I have done that isn't necessarily a rule of this project, but every single month if I don't have a rollout, I choose to roll something else in, like to roll something into the project anyway as a sort of punishment to myself for not finishing products but I finished four or a hit goal on four products this month so we'll be rolling four new products in and we won't have to roll in an extra one unless of course on the game board it says that one of the cards I draw is a plus one. I'm a little bit nervous because four cards, four chances to pull the joker. If you pull the joker it means you have to pan something that you really don't want to pan but We'll get into all that in a minute. First, if you have yet to subscribe to my channel and you like project painting content or just chit chatting about makeup, I would love if you'd consider subscribing before moving on. And other than that, let's get into the update. Okay, so I do currently have seven products that I am working on, again, because I hadn't hit any goals thus far in this project, but I'm so excited to have hit four goals. One of them was today. I was like searching for all the products or pulling all the products to prepare for this video and I was like oh yeah I forgot about my Vesca highlight and I was like I'm close to hitting pan on that what if I hit pan on that today pulled it put it in my inner corner and we hit pan on it but we're gonna get into that we're gonna go in order that I pulled each of these products so starting with a product that is not rolling out yet I have my bite beauty french press lip gloss I rolled this in for the prompt a product a friend is panning Rebecca Morgan rolled this product into her um, year-long project pan and I thought this would be the perfect product for me to pull as well just because this is getting very old in my collection I've already gone through a full tube of this and I really I used to really enjoy this product or this shade but it's just not my favorite anymore so I have been focused on this a little bit more this last like week or so so I feel like if I focus on this like pretty heavily throughout the month of mm, April slash May I could potentially roll this out um, just because if I remember correctly there's not too too much product in here it's just more of a cool tone gloss and not necessarily one I can see myself reaching for all that much this time of year but I also just want to finish this up and roll this out next up is another product I will not be rolling out yet I have my Glossier cloud paint in the shade beam I rolled this in for the prompt to highlight another project panner and um, Kelly Gooch had rolled this into her year-long project pan and I was like I'm gonna work on this one again Again, I've worked on this product throughout multiple projects so there's tons of dashes and line markings I am really excited that I did get to move my line marking a little bit from here to here I have been reaching for this quite a bit um, I even have it underneath um, a more like peachy powder blush today so I've been layering this too and really enjoying this this is something I can see myself using a ton this spring summertime and my goal is to get this below all of the lettering and the font so we still have a long ways to go and I'm kind of scared I forgot to mention my weights. So when I rolled my Glossier cloud paint in, this weighed 10 grams. This was 10 grams last update and it weighs 9 grams today. So I'm very excited that we did see some weight change here. The Bite Beauty French Press lip gloss weighed 30 grams when I rolled this in. 29 grams last update and still weighs 29 grams today. All right, and then speaking of that Vesca highlighter, I rolled in a random letter generator and I randomly generated the letter M. So I chose this Vesca highlighter in the shade Moonlight, M Moonlight. Um, and I gave myself a goal of hitting pan on this. And as I said, I did hit pan on this this morning. I have been focused on this mostly as an inner corner highlight, but I would say I've reached for this quite a bit as an actual face highlight too. I love this highlight because it is a little bit more subtle. You can build it up to be more intense, but it is a little bit more subtle. And for some reason, something about this formula mixes really well with other highlighter formulas. So if there's a highlighter formula that's like a little bit too pink, I'll mix it with this just to like tone down that pink. And I just love mixing this highlight with other highlights. So even though I already have 
pan on this I assume I will be reaching for this quite a bit the rest of the year But I'm very excited to add another pan to my makeup collection This one also weighed 31 grams at the introduction and still weighs 31 grams today So no weight change, but we do have a pan next up I drew the prompt an oldest product So I chose my oldest foundation from my foundation category Which was my L'Oreal Pro Glow and I'm very excited to say that this is officially an empty I don't know if you can see like and here that this is just like straight up empty. When I rolled this in, this weighed 24 grams. It weighed 20 grams last update and it is now weighing 11 grams. So I went heavy on this. Like I pretty much wore this almost every single day, whether it be on its own or mixed with another foundation all of like the end of March and beginning of April so that I could finish this up. This is very old in my collection. This used to be a favorite like holy grail foundation for me but i just have but i just have so many other foundations currently in my collection and some more that have come out that i just prefer over this one i don't know if i'll ever purchase this one again but i'm very excited to have a foundation empty this is my second foundation empty of the year and this one will also obviously be rolling out i'm also very excited about this next product i rolled in my kaja Earhart for the prompt a cream product i had just posted my partners in cream introduction and i thought about rolling this product into my partners in cream project because i had worked on it all year in 2021 in my partners in cream project pan and didn't finish this decided not to roll it into my partners in cream project for this year and then drew the card that correlated to a cream product and i was like you know what i'm just gonna pull this because i really did want to finish this up and i can say that it is finally finish it took me so long to finish this lipstick i even tried to dig in a little bit but i mean there's still product if i really were to dig my finger in but i'm just not about that life i'm ready to call this an empty i'm very happy with this i didn't love this on my lips i thought it made a really beautiful cream blush color but i also want to like ease my way back into like the corals and brighter colors for the spring summer so i'm very excited to have this as an empty this weighed 22 grams at the introduction 21 grams last update and weighs 21 grams today not 20 grams now today as an empty next up i have my charlotte tilbury airbrush hollywood flawless filter this is going to be a long haul product i rolled this in for the prompt a glowy product and i want to finish this up so this weighed 133 grams when i rolled this in then the cap broke off which I think makes a difference in the next weight that you're gonna see, which is 126 grams. I think part of that was the cap breaking off. Today, this weighs 125 grams, and I don't necessarily know that I see, like I see a disturbance way up here, um, but like if I were to open this product, and I just used this today, so, mm, I maybe still have probably half of this left now I do feel like I'll get a lot more use out of this in the summertime right now I've really just been using this as an actual highlight on the face but in the summer I'll mix this with the uh drunk elephant debronzy like drops to kind of make my own like basically to match my like self-tan body match my face to my self-tan body because I don't self-tan my face and it's always like 10 shades lighter than my body so I'll mix this and the debronzy drops to give me a really glowy bronze and I love that look this is a product sometimes I've found myself not reaching for simply because I know it costs so much and I really enjoy this product, but I also have the Auric Glow Lust, which I need to be reaching for. So I would love to finish this up. This is getting older in my collection and I don't want this to go to waste. And now the cap's broken off too. Like all of the lettering on this has worn off. Like it's time to just actually use this up, but I do have a feeling this will take me probably until the end of the year to finish. And then the final product was one that I rolled in at last update. It was a gimme product, which I was super excited about. And I rolled in the this little mini Milk Hydra Grip. It has an airless pump and it might look like there's still product in there, but I think it's just because of the airless pump. No product is currently coming out of this. This weighed 10 grams last update when we rolled it in. It weighs eight grams as an empty now. The Milk Hydra Grip Primer is just not my favorite gripping primer. I like the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Primer, the e.l.f. Gripping Primer, um, or even the Urban Decay All Nighter Gripping Primer. I just prefer those over this one. This one's a little bit more finicky, takes a little bit more time to like set down. So I'm excited to finish up another primer, count this as an empty in my inventory, and just be done with it and roll another product in. All right, so I have my deck of cards and we have four or empties slash products that we have hit our goal on so i'm going to shuffle these cards up i shuffled them before turning the camera on but i'll shuffle them a couple more times hopefully you guys can hear the shuffles and the bridge and then i'll shuffle up here just so you guys know truly i'm shuffling these up and i think there's two jokers in here but i'm too lazy to find 
the second one and oops okay added those back in so we're gonna have to shuffle again okay we're gonna grab four cards i'm very scared here we go one okay seven of spades five of hearts Ooh, another non face card uh nine of clubs and the fourth and final card is an eight of diamonds so i'm gonna grab my phone and i will post the game board on the screen so that you guys can follow along okay so the nine of clubs ooh, is a body care item okay i kind of like that because i don't necessarily always focus on my body care items or like pan them so okay that's a good one maybe take a little bit of pressure off of all of the makeup products that i'm trying to pan next up we have the eight of diamonds which is something a friend is panning oh shoot so i got that one again okay i'm gonna have to think about that one the five of hearts is a gifted product okay and then the seven of spades i feel like i'm getting hard ones here the seven of spades is your largest category Ooh. okay okay i'm gonna go grab some products and i will be right back okay i feel like that one was a little bit more difficult for me like actually selecting the products but i do feel like i have some good products here that i am really excited about so let's start with a body care product i actually feel like this could sort of be like a gimme product i feel like this could definitely be a goal reached by next update this is my josie Marin whipped argon oil body butter i have really liked to try and add body care into like my self-care routine and try to remember to put on lotion i mean two times a day would be like ideal but for sure once a day but sometimes i fall off track um so this kind of looks nasty i've mixed a highlighter in with this just to get use out of the highlighter oh it smells so good but i don't have that much left in this and honestly if i wore this if i wore this even every single day for the next two weeks like put this on my body for the rest for two weeks in a row i would definitely be able to finish this up so i'm hoping that this will be an empty next update because then again i wouldn't have to roll in hopefully an extra product so this is almost like a gimme product but also is going to encourage me to do my body self-care for something a friend is panning i actually chose to choose something that emily who is the creator of this project is panning and currently in her whole collection project pan she is working on the contour shade in her smashbox cali contour kit last year i panned this shade in my cali contour kit this used to be a product i would talk about in almost every video on my channel i love the cali contour kit but i struggle to motivate myself to reach for my face palettes so i'm going to give myself a goal just because i don't reach for contour all that frequently i'm going to give myself a 20 use goal on this and my goal is to reach for the contour shade in this palette uh, i almost said 12 20 total times then for my gifted product i feel like no one really gifts me actual makeup because they just think like i have it all um my sister my sister will um but she's very selective and very choosy about it but i actually decided to go with this palette this is from what's up beauty and they literally just sent this to me so they gifted it to me in pr and um this is their new i think new maybe not new geode palette um, I think it's new, but they just came out with a new nail polish collection. I actually have one of the polishes on my fingers today. I haven't reached into this at all yet. I literally unboxed this yesterday. So I'm going to give myself a 10 use goal, which will encourage me to get some good use out of this palette so I can get a review up for you guys as well. And just like give me that extra motivation to reach for this right away. Whereas sometimes my new things I don't reach for right away because I feel like, I don't know, like do you ever like buy new things you're so excited about, but then like six months later, you're like, I haven't even reach for the why do we do these things but i'm very excited about this i'm very excited about the like shimmer shades in here and to see like what they look like on the eyes so i will give myself a goal of reaching for this 10 times with a little bit of effort i would love to have this as a rollout next update as well i definitely do not see myself reaching for this 20 times in the next month but I could see myself potentially reaching for this 10 times and a, reaching for this is just for a minimum of one shade. Obviously, I would like to also have the goal of reaching for every shade in this palette at least one time, but at least one time. But I do feel like I could have this as a roll up next update as well. And then 
for my largest category, my two largest categories are my lip gloss collection as well as my blush collection. And I feel like I'm working on quite a few lip products right now. So I did want to go with my blush. They're like basically tied. In fact, I do think I actually do have more blush. I just didn't like 100% verify that. I think I have 70-ish blushes and like maybe 68 or 67 lip glosses. And I finished some lip glosses this year. So my blush is, blush is my largest category. And I'm going to go with my Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand um, in Peach Gasm. I was actually going to roll this into my graveyard project pan, but this is the perfect fit and the perfect time. I needed a blush to roll into this project. And I'm so close to finishing this up. I have tried to finish this in other projects and I feel like I'm like right about here. So my goal is to actually complete this finish this up have a blush empty at the end of 2022 that would be incredible so that's my goal here i feel like i've thought i was going to finish this up for over a year now and still i haven't been able to finish it but this is like right up my alley for like the tones of blush that i'm going for right now as well so i'm very excited about this and i'm hoping i would say maybe two to three months and this will be an empty but hopefully this will be done by like maybe end of june and that is going to wrap it up for my deco panning project pan. This was a little bit of a longer one because I did have the four rollout slash roll ins, which I'm very excited about. I know I personally cannot wait to go binge watch everyone else's deco panning project pan. This is such a fun project and I love to go see how everyone else is doing. So don't forget to check out the hashtag playlist description box for all of the information. Thank you guys so much for sticking around to watch today's video and for supporting my channel as you guys always do. I love you guys so much and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.